guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay guys, today we are going to be seeing the fastest cars in Greenville Roblox. So I've done this video before, but I decided to make a part 2. So please make sure to subscribe to my channel and let's get into this video. Before we start the video, I got a small secret we need to show you. So, in the last update or the uh, last uh, the uh, update before the last update, we got the function of ragdoll, which means uh, like if we jump out the car with the with speeds over 10 miles per hour or so, you like fall and be like you're hurt. But now you don't need to uh, jump out from a car to do that. While role playing, if you're role playing an accident, you can press R on your keyboard and then this happens. You can fall like that. Actually, that's so cool. It's, it helps a lot in role plays. And yeah, it's just a small little secret. On to the video. Okay, guys, so the first car we have got here is the BKM Rosenheim. So this is a $50,000 SUV and yeah, look, it's pretty nice. My, well, it's not my favorite, but okay, let's, let's see. So, does it sound that good? Yeah, it does. So these are the lights. Pretty decent lights. And yeah, let's get it to try. So... Yeah, this car's not so quick on drive, but it's fairly quick in sport mode. So yeah, let's do a launch. So and go. Oh, I didn't put in sport mode. Okay, let's do it. Okay. And go. Okay. So this car is it's pretty uh, not the best, but. It's okay in sport mode. Well, yeah, it's free. So what do you expect? So the top speed is 161, which is really good for an SUV. It's look 161. So I'm pretty impressed with that. So now let's do a test run, 70 miles per hour. Yep. And we'll stop at the signal and so here we go. Oh, that's that's actually nice braking. Like normal SUVs like when here are like tear off the mud, but this stopped really early. Yeah, I'm so that's I'm impressed with this car. Sorry, my microphone has a problem. On to the next car. This is the next car. This is the BKM Olympia. Uh and yeah, this is a nice looking coupe and it costs 31,000 pounds. Pretty cheap. And yeah, let's get driving. So, this has the exact same sound as the Rosenham. Uh, yeah, what do you expect? Both are BMWs, so yeah. Oh, the neutral. This is the sound and these are the lights. They look nice in the front and the back lights, they're gorgeous i love them and yeah let's get driving so uh and drive it's pretty quick very quick for a coupe uh, yeah so we just launch it and there we go oh that's nice acceleration yeah it only really costs 31,000 pounds and it has a nice acceleration like it and like always, it has the same top speed as the BMW frozen name or BKM frozen name. 161. Yeah, 161. So let's do a brake test and from 70 miles per hour. Let's see how it does. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure there's a junction up ahead and yep. Yeah. Okay. And we for it, we for it, here we go. Okay, I don't know how to love it, but it's actually fairly okay. Yeah, it's like, uh, yeah, yeah, it's okay. On to the next car. Okay, so the next car we have is a 2013 Bullhorn Prancer. 
So this is uh, a nice car, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. It's not my personal favorite, but if you want a drifty, fast Dodge, you can take this. Yeah, it's not my favorite, like in my opinion. So this is a good looking car, and these are the lights. The lights look okay, and. The back lights, I love this like one piece design. I love them. And yeah, this is the sound. Yeah, it sounds like normal Greenville cars. So the acceleration, yeah, it's not so good in drive. But in sport mode, it's better, I guess. Yeah, so let's launch this. Hit. Okay, yeah, it's not very quick, is it? Yeah, it's not. But it has a slightly better top speed than the BMWs. It's like three more, four more, yeah. The both BMWs got 161, this has around 165, yeah. So, yeah, let's launch it. One more time, because there it didn't have space. Three, two, one, go. Okay, that was a wheel spin, a big one. And yeah, so it's 80, 90, yeah, it, it's not very quick. It, yeah, I don't recommend buying this car that much. Like, if you're a Dodge Charger fan, then maybe you can buy it. Uh, whoa, yeah, it is very, oof, it's very drifty, to be honest. Oh my god, I'm, it's, it's, it's really drifty. Okay, so 17 miles per hour. Uh, yeah, maybe, so 17 miles per hour, we are going to do a brake test from the signal or traffic light or whatever you call it. You understand what I said. So, here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, it's not the best braking. Yeah. Mm, it's it's actually good uh, uh, based on the price because it's a 19,000 game money car. And yeah, on to the next car. Okay, guys. So the next car is the BKM Region 2020. So this is this was actually a game pass car, the luxury pass one. But now in in uh, I don't know past update they made it free. So that's nice because this car is one of my favorite cars in the game. I'll show you why. So the starting is like a normal BMW car. But you know it looks really nice and I, I like the back lights actually like they're really detailed and these, this is the light like look at that. I like the lights and the look of the car. So yeah, let's keep driving. So in drive it's actually pretty pretty quick. Like uh, it's not so much but it's it's okay. So this also has the same top speed as all the other BMWs, 161, and yeah. Okay, so this car is rear wheel drive. You can get the all wheel drive option, but I think it's a rear wheel drive. And oh, this car is actually fairly quick. for that and if you're doing it yeah if i was uh, breaking from there i would reach here so yeah this is a nice breaking and next car so this is going to be a last car 
and it is the Chevron Platoro or the Chevron Silverado and wait, 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 wait. everyone will be like wait a minute this is a family pickup well no because this is the SS version you can get a SS like the one door SS and we have the two door SS and we have the one door with the half a door SS yeah you can get those three SS and this thing is a beast like it's it has a top speed of around 164 or something and for a pickup that's insane and these are the lights like who cares about the lights and yeah so let's go and this uh, i i believe this sounds a bit more fruitier or much much like you know much sportier than the normal silverado but the acceleration is trash not good at all in drive with German car so track me pull off and here we go uh, oh i forgot sport mode but what do i all sort three two one go okay so in sport mode it's okay for a pickup truck but i'm just telling you about the top speed man like a pickup with the top speed of 164 that's insane and this was around 31k 33k or something yeah i don't know so uh the map is not big enough or the road is not big enough for uh, for the top speed but it goes 164 trust me so yeah and now we are gonna do a brake test from 70 miles per hour and let's see what it's gonna do i'm pretty sure it's not gonna do the best because it's a heavy big pickup truck so yeah 70 it is pretty sure yeah that's the junction there here we go okay like expected it's not that good but i'm just talking about the top speed and the horsepower it has 400 or something and yeah it's really good now we're gonna be looking at the prices the uh, like the trims and the colors the wheels everything of all the four cars i reviewed and yeah let's get on to it okay guys so the first car we have got is the bkm rosen hand so it's catalog and yeah this is the car so this is the 2018 bkm rosen game it's the this is the only option which is free and it's the rear wheel drive two liter x line so all the others like this and this and this and this all of these need the luxury pass but yeah all of them have the same top speed which is 161 and this is the rear wheel drive and it's a five seater so we have all of these colors and we have this wheel this wheel this one this one this one this one and uh this one and yeah that's it so it costs fifty thousand dollars which is a lot and yeah that's it on to the next car the next car we have is the um i i don't know its name i'm pretty sure it's the bkm olympia yep it's the olympia there are a lot of bmws in this i just forget so this is the bkm olympia 2018 and the only one which is free is the all-wheel drive two liter sport light and this one this one and this one needs the luxury pass so this one costs this car costs 31000 it has all of these colors it has this this wheel this one 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 and this one and yeah and this car stop speed is also 161 it's all wheel drive and it's four seater on to the next car which is the Bullhorn Prancer. Yep, it's this one. So this is the 2013 Bullhorn Prancer. This is the SE version, which has 146 miles per hour top speed. But this is the one. This is not the one we need. 
you can choose two options we have the dr which has 165 miles per hour stop speed it's rear wheel drive and four seater or you can get a dark edition or the police package which also has the same spec but you know this grill and this places and black kind of thing i would rather go for the tr because it's cheaper and i think it's a better looking car let me know in the comments below what you think so we have this one this wheel this wheel this wheel this wheel this wheel yeah most of them looks the same yeah and we have all of these colors as well and yeah we are going to the next car which is the bkm region and yep this is the one so you can get this one or the touring version both of them have the same spec and everything the same model same wheels kind of the same color and everything so we have the rear wheel drive two liter sport line or we can take the all wheel drive two liter sport line if you want more grip and you're not the kind of person who wants to drift the car you can take this the touring option also has the all wheel drive two liter sport and the rear wheel drive and we have all of these colors and we have this wheel this wheel this wheel this wheel okay i didn't show you that wheel this wheel this wheel this wheel this wheel this wheel and yeah a lot of wheels and 161 miles per hour rear wheel drive and it's a five seater and the all wheel drive one costs 48000 this one costs 41000 and we have our last car which is the chevron platoro yeah it's this one yep so these are useless slow ones normal but the one we need is the ss regular cab we can get the one door version we get we can get the ss crew cab which is a two door version and we can get the ss extended cab which has the slow i like this one so we have all of these colors damn that's a lot of colors and i i think this wheel is more sportier because all the others are like the normal pickup style wheel but yeah i think i'll go with this wheel and the top speed is 164 rear wheel drive six seater i don't know how we, how you're going to fit six people in there but okay and it costs 32 and uh, 32 thousand and if we get more doors it's more money and uh, yeah that's that's it i hope you guys like the video Please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!